Right, okay, so this is our attempt at a drop toilet slash composting toilet. We've made a platform which is about five foot tall, maybe four and a half, out of five posts that we've banged in with the post bumper. So from underneath you can see there's five posts. Uh, there's two rails either side uh, which we've decked across and it's just got a diagonal there resting on this other central post. So what we're doing next is we're going to work on the steps. We've put these 7x2 um, we've put these 7 by 2 bits of timber up to here, screwed those on and we've got a load more decking left so we're going to put a series of treads across. Little Mad's going to stand up and show you what it looks like on the decking. So that's it, pointed on the decking. And this... Can come back this way? Yeah. This decking, well it's very it? wooden. Can you point it down here to see what the steps will look like when they're built? So we have channeled it in. That's the first thread done. We're just securing it. Oh, we love the impact driver. So that's tread number one. It's not the finest cabinet making sawing, but we're in a field. <laughs> it's agricultural. Yeah. As long right. as it works, it's a bit close to the next one. How many later. more? So we've had to abandon because it's got dark. It's got dark, but that's the time of year. But we got three on. Oh, pan it round and look at the field. Pan me up. Pan me up. That's a little bit foggy. Little girls don't ever go on the steps. So it's a day, day after Boxing Day. Day after Boxing Day, 2021. We've got all the steps in, but the very last one, Jigsaw went flat on us. So that's a bit frustrating. So I'm going to cut some bits of wood just to reinforce the underside for when we cut the, um, the hole through for the drop toilet. I've put a couple of bracing pieces as well to stop the whole thing twisting down to the centre post. So it's coming along and um, we've banged in two uprights uh, for the bottom of the banister for the steps. Well it's the 1st of January 2022, so happy new year. Um, and that's where we're up to at the moment. We've got the steps all built, platforms all there ready rigged and we just put a couple of rustic banisters on there to help people get up the steps a bit more safely. So. The activity up there is the little shed being dismantled and hopefully before the sun goes down behind the tree line we can start putting the shed up on top of there. Let's see what happens next. There's the roof coming down. It's not even been up a year. Yep. It hasn't, is it? No. But it did the job whilst it was there before Chunk's mighty shed turned up. Right. So, Daddy, where's the cats? Say hello. So, hello. So the toilet shed is making its way to its new location, one panel at a time. Well, I think Mummy's going as fast as she can. We've got the roof, we've got the right hand side. Here comes the front with the door in it. One more panel. And then somehow we've got to work out how to screw it all together up there without um, it blowing off. So the challenge is, how does one woman who's a willing volunteer get a six foot four shed up on a five foot platform? 
Got one guy in a wheelchair with a long stick who's trying to hold the sides of the shed up while she's uh, trying to line it all up. And two little kids running around creating mayhem. But nevertheless, managed to get three sides up, screw the bottom down to the base. And the, the, uh, the front went on. Things were lining up quite well. And the tricky bit was how to get the shed roof over the front because that's the highest part. So that wasn't going quite well. So my other half, she's pretty bright, she decided to push it up through the middle. Uh, managed to get it up there. It was a little bit skew with, but then sort of with a bit of fiddling, got it all back down into, uh, into the right space. It steadily was, was getting darker and darker because we were working in December into January, so it was very short days. But we wanted to get it all screwed together and we persevered because it was also quite windy as well at that time of year. And we didn't want to come back to the field and find it all blown down in a heap. So torches came out, the battery drills kept going and we got it all screwed into place before we left. Right, we're back again and we've just turned the door into a stable door so you can enjoy the view while you're on the loo. So here we are six months later, uh, so we're in June and this is the toilet as it's looking now. It's a little bit more weathered. It's been uh, used quite a bit. I've, I've been told that it's one of the favorite things on the farm so far. We've even installed some uh, willow trees around the outside at the bottom, which have, uh, they're just willow canes and they've started to sprout. And they, uh, they should start to grow up and just shield the, uh, the base area of it. And this is the view from this side. As you can see, we fitted some bird boxes or nest boxes on the back and on this side, away from the prevailing wind. So toilets over. It's a bit messy. We've got a towel. We've got a toilet roll holder that needs to put him back on. We've got a bucket full of water. We've got a tap. It's an old brewing bucket. And that wasn't meant to be in there. And no washing up thing, I just cut a hole, but all the wood's around because I want to make a proper legs for it. Come on! Ta da!